baseball season's underway, so we're going to be doing our bi-weekly shows. I'm Nameco, this is Dustin, we're going to be talking sell high, buy low, who to add, all that fun stuff. And there's a lot of names on this list, so Dustin, just go ahead and get us started. Let's talk about buy lows. I know it's early, but Clayton Kershaw. The Clayton Kershaw owner is still going to want a premium value, but even, As they should. even if you can get... Get it to where you're just getting him for late first, early second round value instead of early first. Love the move at this point. It's Clayton Kershaw. Next on the list is Anthony Rizzo. And it's the same thing. They're going to want good value for him. But with Rizzo being in first base, if an owner has a guy like that we're going to talk about later, like Kenji Morales or Billy Butler is playing great, that's when you put take a little note that you say, hey, listen, you can move them off your bench or out of your utility into your first base spot. I'll take Rizzo off your hands, etc. That's the way to kind of work out that trade. But he's going to be just fine. He's going to hit a ton of home runs this year. Jordan Zimmerman's next off to a really rocky start You know, with that amazing Nationals rotation. Same deal. If you can just get him for a couple rounds earlier in terms of where he was being drafted in terms of value, He's going to be fine. We like the move at this point in the season. All right, we've got some sell high guys. And, you know, this is more some of the, the two guys I'm going to talk about are like package filler type of guys. So look at them that way. You're not going to be able to trade the first guy. I'm talking about Scott Casimir straight up for Clayton Kershaw. We're not morons. We understand that. But, you know, package him into some deals, kind of work it out. So Casimir's off to a ridiculous start. Two wins, .69 ERA and whip. And he's got a little name cachet, so you might be able to get a little bit for him. And... Even with the name cache, he's Scott Casper. He's going to come back down to earth. He will. D. Gordon's a guy that's very interesting, you know, because this is a young guy. He does have a big upside. And you have to think there is a chance that he can bat over 300. But right now, his average is extremely inflated. And I just don't see him more than just a speed and decent average guy at a tough position to fill. So still, obviously, a lot of value there. But with, he's just playing out of his mind right now. If you can get a couple rounds higher value for him right now, I, I like that. And I think you can. He's very interesting because he had a lot of you know a lot of hype going into the draft. So out of everybody on this list, I think you can get a lot for D. Gordon. So definitely try to deal him if you got him. For upside. <laughs> Lorenzo Cain's the last guy I'm talking about. He's batting over 400. He has eight ribbies, a little bit of name recognition, still young enough that you think he might be able that other people might be able to think he can put all together. Just an interesting filler guy to throw into trades as well. All right, let's talk about the Mustads in all leagues. First one's Adam Odovino, closer for Colorado. Old man Hawkins, they finally gave up on him. And Betancourt is going to be in the mix as well as from, for some saves, but Odovino is the guy that is the way more exciting pickup. Pick him up. We think he's going to be the guy to own from here on out. Dustin snagged him. Two oh, minutes. I got, I got I him quick. Two minutes before I got, I got him. him. All right, I'm talking about another closer, and that's Miguel Castro for the Toronto Blue Jays. Brett Cecil. That didn't last so long. No, it didn't. <laughs> so they gave it to the young Dominican. This kid has nasty stuff. Should be the closer for the rest of the year. There'll be some ups and downs, but he's overall a very solid pickup. If you waited on closers, like we always tell you to, congratulations. Pick these two up. There you go. Kevin Kiermaier is the next guy. Young outfitter for Tampa Bay. This guy's got a lot of upside. Only on a 25% of leagues, which is surprising. He's, he's solid. He needs to be owned in more leagues. He's someone to definitely keep an eye on. Pick up if you need any type of outfield help. Big upside with this kid. Personal name co fan favorite, Billy Butler. Billy Boy. Just a professional hitter. And right now he's batting 371. I mean, I don't think he's going to keep at that clip, but he can't, he's going to hit over 300 this year, I feel. He's got six RBIs. He should be owned in most leagues. Don't forget, just a couple years ago, he was supposed to be the next big thing. Yeah. He just that fell off the face of the earth, but he's still young enough. The doubles didn't turn to home runs. That's what happened. Well, the one year they did. The one year they did. Shane Green's next. This guy, very interesting. Young pitcher for Detroit, only on a 45% of leagues. I liked him in the minors. He had good stats then. It's carrying over in the bigs. This guy's going to get picked up fast. So if he's still available in your league, you need to pick him up now. All right, we're going to talk about guys sad in deeper leagues. And the CEO and president of Fantasy Smack Talk will start us off. <laughs> That's that guy, not this guy. Jake Lamb is a guy I wanted to talk about with Arizona now. He is right now sitting against lefties. Aaron, he's splitting uh, the duties with Aaron Hill. But Aaron Hill might get shipped out of town, or Lamb just might end up just being too good to sit on the bench. And we'll see how he does against the lefties. But this is a guy that has a lot of pedigree. Mr. Name Co. He's likes that. Waivers today. I'm getting to him as soon as my phone's charged. <laughs> but this is a young guy that needs to be looked at in more leagues. Third base 
position, tough one to fill, so there you go. As I alluded to earlier, Kenji, Kenji Morales is playing ridiculous right now. Uh, coming off a pitiful year last season, he came, stepped in, he's batting 414, two home runs, five RBIs, has just looked amazing across the board. And you know, he's he's had really solid years. Last year was just so terrible, maybe that's the outlier. I mean, he's clearly not gonna bat 400, but if you're in a deep league, he should 100% be owned at this point. Another guy I like is Derek Norris, catcher for San Diego. He's gotten a lot of at-bats this year so far, and I like that from your catcher. He's not getting a ton of off days. If he had Jan Gomes, which I did, and or, me. If or if you're waiting weeders out, or you know, there's been some, some issues at the catcher position, you might be looking for a guy. He's not gonna blow you away, but he's gonna be a very serviceable guy that'll get you some at-bats until they come back. Steven Vogt, also a catcher. He's been playing all right. All right, I'm gonna talk about Anthony Goes, outfielder for Detroit. He's only owned in about 50% of leagues right now. He's batting close to 400, he's got five RBIs, and you know, you gotta like in that Detroit offense, that Detroit lineup with uh, Cabrera and Vimar. Definitely worth an add in deep leagues. DJ LeMay is the next guy I'm gonna talk about. Very surprising that he's not getting picked up in more leagues, but the numbers are definitely fluky. I mean, the guy's batting over 500 right now. He's in a tough position to fill. And, but he will come crashing back down to earth, but maybe not all the way down to 250. I mean, this guy does have some potential. He could be batting around 300. If you need help with second base, I like this youngster. He's got a big upside. All right, give us one guy to keep one guy an eye to keep on. an eye on. This is the guy, David Give me Peralta. a good keep an eye on. Keep an eye on. Is that all right? Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> David Peralta is a guy I liked coming into the year. He's been very disappointing so far this year. I can't recommend picking him up until he shows me something, but I definitely want to keep an eye on this guy because I do think keep an eye. Keep an eye. This guy's good. No one else keep an eye. That's kind of funny. They might think it's a little funny. There's no way. 